Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and attitude to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Kakadash, and the Heavenly Father. Two names are Yahweh, His only begotten Son, Bahashem, the name of Mashiach, Kabashai. Uh, those are their true names in the ancient pattern of Hebrew, the last one, Kadash, so the tongue. And I say, Barakatham, to the uh, elders, Barakim, Akwaf, and I say, Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of uh, prophecy updates as of November the 8th, 2024, on this uh, Friday night, November 8th, 2024, prophecy updates. And this is a uh, news article it says, a uh, U.S. accused Iran plotting to delete Trump. It says uh, Trump gives no Ukrainian promise to EU leaders. Yeah, you got some more news about the box for money box. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I see like two or three on left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something in there to eat, you know. Yeah. I had to be cooking nobody when he eats the food. He started in the gods. Right. He's on the street. And then now you said. Yeah. But she paid it, though. Mm-hmm. You know, she don't get pregnant no more. The pregnant ain't going to smoke it up in the weed. She knows it. That's why she's in. Right. Right. Yeah, true. You know what yeah. Russia and Ukrainian officials meet in Belarus. Over four, over forty Africans. It says, um, over forty African ministers meet in Russia. It says Trump will have to make the first move with Putin, uh, according to reports. EU needs more obvious Russ uh, Macron has mentioned. It says U.S. will abandon Ukraine or bond mentions. Harris and Biden assize trade plans for losing Trump. It says, uh, Indian says, Russian oil prevents global chaos, uh, crisis. Gavin Newsom vows to Trump-proof California values. Israel orders a plane to save small hatters from Asper, Asper, Amsterdam. Pro of if I pronounce that right. And this is uh, the book of uh, Luke. Luke 21, oh not sure. Luke 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon. It says, uh, and there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars upon the earth, the disgrace of nations will perplex and seize Russian war. Right, we see the uh, disgrace of nations will perplex and seize Russian war. And this is uh, the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the people in the world, right? So, increasing earthquakes and uproars in people in the world that we're going to see more and more. And this is uh, second edges. Second edges, fifteen verse fourteen. Woe to the inhabitant of the. It says, Woe to the world and to. It says, Woe. I mean, uh, verse 15, Salakia. Second Edges 15, verse 15. It says, uh, For the sword and destruction draw off nine. And one people should stand up and fight against another with swords in hands, for I would know the modern day swords and weapons. So it's going to be sedition among the nations. The aggressive nations will perplex and the seas verse 1. Uh, just like I brought up that Luke 21, verse 25. Second Edges 15, verse 16. It says, uh, for there shall be sedition among men, and they one another. They shall not regard their kings, nor their princes, and of course their acts shall stand in their power. This is uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 9. It says, uh, proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up, uh, mighty man, let all the men of war draw near, let come up. 
probably that's what we see in the uh, wars and rumors of wars, uh, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, different ethnicity groups clashing against one another, and uh, from a warlike perspective as well too, from an economical war perspective, uh, military warlike perspective, and clashes and seditions that we've seen as well too. Just like I brought up that second edge, the uh, second edge of the fifteenth chapter. Um, Second Edge 9 verse 3, uh, Joel 3 verse 9 as well too. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Joel chapter 3 verse 10, beat your plows and some swords and the plenty hooks into the weeks. And the spirit shall let the weeks sound strong. Let's see some more news articles that's occupying more prophecies. to the Jerusalem Post. It says Pelosi suggests Biden should has exit campaign sooner, New York Times reports. And it said explosives heard in court side of Aleppo, Assyria, Santa State News Agency reports. At the Hamas rejection of hostage deal, U.S. asked Qatar to expel the group. Pentagon chief speaks with new Israeli defense minister. Blinken spoke with the UAE about the reaching diplomatic solutions in Gaza, Lebanon. Trump re Trump to host and make a deal with Lebanon. It says uh, Amsterdam bans protests at the anti small hat squad attacks Israeli soccer teams. I mean soccer fans. Right next to that goes into that Luke twenty one verse twenty five. And that second edge is now at verse 3. And second edge, the 15th chapter I just mentioned, Palestinians, Palestinian president said he's ready to work with Trump towards a compensation peace deal. What the scripture says, uh, 1 Thessalonians, for when they shall say peace and safety, sudden scratch will come upon them. A white, it says a white. Yeah. Yeah, screen, screen cord. Oh, that's right. No, this is screen, screen cord thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get yeah, the car back. Yeah, we we'll fill it back up with some water. Right, hot. Right, cold water. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. Get you a chicken wing, you 